What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Salt, where unfortunately going all the way out to this island has removed our placeholders. So I think that's the island that was slightly to the left of the big mountain, but things are vanishing on us, and so unfortunately there is the possibility that we may end up a bit like Gilligan, and just kind of be out and about. Now Gilligan never like sailed around on a boat as far as I know, so at least we've got that little bit of originality going for us. But our navigational points appear to be rapidly vanishing, so we'll just have to live with that fact. Unfortunately, we shall continue to be a vagrant, and this shall be a vagrant story. Speaking of which, it was a good game. I haven't played Vagrant Story in a long time. I used to have a copy of it, but I'm pretty sure I traded it into, like, Funko Land back when Funko Land was a thing for, like, a dollar because I wanted to go, like, buy another Final Fantasy game or something like that. That's what it always was when I was a kid. You go to Funko Land, and you'd be like, I need to sell, like, all these games that I don't play so that I can get a game that I will play. And they always, I mean, when Funko Land first came out, I remember I first went to Funko Land back when Sega and Super Nintendo were still around, basically, during that generation of gaming. And they were actually a pretty good deal back then. They didn't rip you off quite so hard. But once you got a little bit further towards the future, they definitely, they'd be ripping people off like mad nowadays. It's pretty brutal. All right, weak boulder, what you got for me? A piece of coal, a flintstone, great. I will take everything here. Let's have a look around this new little island. I don't know if we're going to have any nasty little bearded friends running around the hills and dales, but it's possible. It could happen. I think this island might be a little bit bigger than the previous couple that we've explored. There's a green fruit right there. I want that. I can't tell which tree it's part of because all of these trees are like this loose amalgam of just like tree hugging. They're all over each other just like, hmm, that feels nice. I like hugging you, tree. I like hugging you too, other tree. Yay! I picked the right tree. So we got tree fruit. Now, I think I figured out what went wrong with our crafting recipe here with the bamboo. I think we need a strong plant fiber, which we don't have. Oh, we do have a strong plant fiber. Well, then I just screwed up entirely. Hold on. We'll put that right there. And then if we have... Do we have a red fruit? I think we need a red fruit. Yeah, there it is. So we got a bamboo fishing pole. How that helps us, I'm not sure. It probably allows us to get access to fish first and foremost. And if we have access to fish, my next guess, you must equip bait in order to fish. I can't mine a rock with my... Oh, God. I heard... Oh, that was a deer. That scared me for a second. I was like, no, pirate, please. I'm just a lowly miner. Don't hurt me. He'd be like, I don't believe ye. I know you killed me pirate friends up on the mountain. Yar! You can get all crazy and try and murder me. I'll be like, no, pirate, no! No! Okay, so I need to rebind. That's enough shenanigans. For Why did... How are these both bound to the same key? Oh, that's interesting. So if the developer, if you see this, you can double key bind things. Or at least I apparently did. I don't know how I broke the physics of the universe by double binding keys. But I did it. If Splattercat can break something, you best believe he will. Give me your fruit, Arr! I take your fruit and I put it in me mouth with me nasty teeth because nobody has a pirate toothbrush. What's over here? Nothing in that tree. I find that I spend way too much time looking upwards hoping that I'll see fruit laying around. Let me grab my bow because if we're going to shoot ourselves a deer, we're going to need it. I don't think I can run him down and stab him with a sword. It seems really, really unlikely. If I could pull it off, I think I would know about that ability by this point in my life. If I had magical deer running destroying abilities. Let's have a brief look around. You know, I still, I have to stream tonight. And I haven't even like vaguely decided what it is I'm going to be streaming. And it's like two hours till stream time. I am just the worst. Got him. Oh, I killed him. Cool. I didn't, I don't think I've ever killed one with two shots before. Alright, so what do we get? We got a pristine deer meat. It gives us 12 max health. Is that permanent? Is that a permanent buff? Like a level up? Oh, that's awesome. I hope it's permanent. If it's just like a temp buff, then it's nice. But if it's a permanent buff, I'm going to kill every deer from here to Timbuktu if I can do it. I mean, deer just became absolutely essential death materials from now on. It is essential that they all die, basically. I guess that's what I was trying to come around and say rather clumsily. <gasps> There's another one. Here, dearie, 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 dear. No, I was calling you carefully. I was using good grammar, and I was just... He's charging us. Oh, shit. That arrow's gone. Did I get him? Nope. There we go. Where'd that other arrow go? It's got to be, like, right here somewhere. 
Great, it buried itself in the grass. Never gonna see that arrow again. I might as well just recraft it. You there, I might need some strong plant material. How about you come be my friend? Okay, so we got a bit more deer meat. We got some deer guts. A pristine deer pelt. What that does for me, I don't know. Let's find out. I think we've got a bunch of them. So, oh, it doesn't look like they do anything. Can I put it on a stick? I cannot put it on a stick. Can I put it on a string? I cannot put it on a string. What I need to do is I need to turn these white flowers into potions. So I'm going to do that really, really fast. I'm going to make like three or four of these. The white flower potions allow you to heal yourself really rapidly. And if we get ourselves into nasty combat, and believe me, combat has the tendency to get nasty. There's lots of weird like groping and, you know, just mouth noises and sucking and just... You don't want to know. But in case combat gets nasty, that'll allow us to de-stickify ourselves from the situation. What else can we find on this island? Well, we've got health potions. We've got good stuff happening. There might be another deer if we get super lucky. And if we wait till nightfall, we may be able to find ourselves one of those moon rocks. Maybe get ourselves... Ooh, mushrooms. Yes, please. Thank you. Ah, the beautiful sunset. That might be the next island that we hit over... Oh my god, it got dark really quickly. Either that or I blinded myself from staring at the sun. I think it's probably like two parts of this, two parts of that. Right here, we needed to go back to our campfire menu. I think I can make, hold on, I think I can make a torch or something. Because we need to go look around tonight. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to make myself a couple torches real fast so that I can use those. And then we'll have a look around the island and see if we can find some of the better materials once it's dark out. I'm not totally sure that that's how it's going to work. Because I think the stone node has to exist beforehand oh no there's one right there we'll wait for that one we'll see if it turns into anything good and if it don't well then i guess i can live with that but i want it to turn into something special i want that rock to reach for its potential and i want it to vastly exceed what everybody expected from it you noble rock you i definitely just heard a noise off that way and i don't feel comfortable about it i'm going back this way it's so dark I suppose by my estimation, this boulder is not going to turn into... Oh, I don't want to do that. What did I just do? Hold on. Give me my torch back. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I pulled out the wrong weapon. Oh, and I can't get my arrows back? No! Let me pull them out of the rock. It's the arrow in the stone. Oh, you can't break a boulder with that either. Okay. Can I... Take out my pickaxe now, please. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. Mining by moonlight. Oh, you can mine your arrows out of the rock. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not hilarious, but it is kind of interesting. I mean, I think we can all agree that it's sort of interesting. Running through the darkness. Definitely sounds like one of those heavy metal tunes from 1988. Actually, it sounds like an album title. That doesn't sound like a song. It sounds like an album title. They'd be like, Poison running through the darkness. Yep, definitely sounds like it. I don't think this is working out so great. Is there moon fruit or anything like that? Are there any fruits mooning me? No. There's no moon fruit. Well, that's disappointing. That is a disappointing turn of events. I think I may head back to my raft, and we'll just sit up next to my raft for the remainder of the evening so that once we get into the morning periods of daytime... We can find some other place to go to. It seems like it's really difficult to navigate without, like, sunlight. Seems difficult. I don't see any stars, either. I do see a lot of floaty debris, though. I definitely feel like I'd be having allergy attacks if I was here. But my point in all this is to say that I don't see any stars, which means I don't think a sextant would be that useful to us. I think you can get a sextant because during our stream, I got a broken sextant off one of the pirates, and I think you can probably fix it. There it is. I was going to say, I've been looking for my raft. I think it's starting to get lighter out right now. Yeah, the sky is definitely lightning. So, I'm not filled with lightning. I know there's two different things. The sky is lightning, and the sky is filled with lightning. You need extra words right there to denote it, but it's still kind of a weird, precarious sense. I understand. There's my boat. I had to put it against the skyline, otherwise I can't see it. Let's maybe, I don't know, go fishing in the darkness or something? That sounds like fun. And then how do I add bait? Oh, like that. 
Okay. And then I guess you just pull it back up in. Maybe I see it move or something. I can barely see the bobber, so this might be a bad idea. But fishing at dawn tends to be the best time because that's when fish will feed, so... Hopefully there's some kind of feedback when I do this. I've also seen people torch fish like this where they stand over the water with a torch because the light will... It confuses amphibians and things like that. And then you can grab them real quick while they're staring at it. That's how we used to egg anyways. When we went frog gigging, that's how we used to catch them. You got a big spotlight and you put it on the water and the frogs would just stare into the light. They couldn't see anything else and you just grab them out of the water. And you cook yourself up some frog legs later that night. Frog gigging. Did I get anything? No. Hmm. My fishing skills are disappointing thus far. Then again, I might not be fishing in like the best spot either. Maybe you're supposed to go out to sea and fish from there. Bobber, are you doing anything right now? Well, bobbing, obviously. It's part of your name, but... I don't think this is helping me much. I wonder how long fishing takes in this game. I don't know if it's like real life where you've got to sit there for like hours getting drunk and listening to the radio before you catch anything. Or if it's a little bit faster. Oh, what is that? We caught a herring! Oh my god, is it a red herring? Sweet. Oh, it gives you health? Oh, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, let's maybe eat some mushrooms real fast. Because what makes a fishing trip more fun than mushrooms? Let's see if we can catch another one. That was pretty cool. There we go. We got a grub. Throw that out there. There we go. That was a much more accurate depiction of how I cast. I should be like, eh! And then it goes like four feet. And I'm just like, alright, that's good enough. I don't feel. I don't really think I need to throw it out too much farther. <laughs> Your friend will be like, your bobber is in like two feet of water. I'll be like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Where's the beer at? <laughs> you brought the beer chest, right? That's the point of going fishing. We don't actually fish. We just come out here to get drunk with sticks in our hands that have strings on them. I mean, do we really need fish? Are we actually going to eat these if we catch them? I mean, I thought we just came out here to drunk, like, get drunk and talk about anything. Ooh, that was quick. I caught flotsam. Not to be confused with jetsam. A remnant of unknown wreckage. Oh, you can open it? It's like a treasure chest? Oh, that's awesome. Treasure! I want more treasure. I'm glad that there's some kind of feedback, though, when you fish. Because I can't see my bobber, so... Seeing my fishing rod actually, like, bend forward, that's a really, really good thing. Because I don't think, as of right now, we would be able to actually accomplish anything otherwise. Caught a night skimmer. What does a night skimmer do? I mean, it skims at night, obviously, but... It emits a soft glow. It's covered in glowing oil that can probably be extracted. Huh. We'll throw out another one. I just want to see what the extent of the fishing system is so far. I spent a stupid amount of time playing the fishing game in Ocarina of Time. And so what I've always hoped is, like, for example, in Long Dark, I always hope that they add, like, a real fishing minigame in Long Dark because, for whatever reason, fishing video games are fun. Like, you think, at first glance, it's kind of like Truck Simulator where... It sounds stupid at first, like when people just are like, oh dude, I've been playing this fishing simulator. Like that sounds idiotic. And then you play it and you're like, wow, I was totally wrong. This is actually way more fun than I thought it would be. I want to catch myself another bass. See, we just caught a sea bass. Kick his ass, sea bass. A half pound, small but delicious. That is a really, really small fish. That's barely even worth catching. There we go. I bet we've got a little bit of time. Maybe not. The moon looks like it's just now starting to rise. Maybe I should make a campfire and sleep it off. I think the day might not be going as rapidly as I thought it would. We may want to do another pan and scan, though, for moonstone ore. Just see if we can see it glowing off in the distance. This is like the best torch ever. This torch has been lasting for a while. And it's not doing that dribbly thing. Like, I've seen torches where they, like, dribble a little bit and, like, fire falls off of them from whatever the flu... Oh my god, what is that? No! 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 Go! No! Go away! I don't love you! No one loves you! You're a spider! Oh my god. I didn't even know that could happen! What? A spider silk. Just one for extra good measure, just to make sure. Alright. 
Whew, I feel like, I don't know, maybe I should apologize to the spiders. People love you spiders. Obviously there wouldn't be- Oh, I'm poisoned! I've been poisoned! Let's see if we can fix this. I know how to fix this. I need black flowers. And I need... Two black flowers. What does that do for me? A black flower potion. I think you have to mix it with white and black though to get a cure poison potion. Oh, never mind. The poison went away on its own. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal then. I thought the poison was going to be long duration because if you put a potion in to get rid of it, I figure it's something that, like you would have to struggle with for a while. We lost a bit of health right there. Might be worth it to see if possibly we could... You're too full to eat that right now. Okay. I guess I'm too full to eat that right now. There we go. I'll band-aid it. You just magically feel better from the band-aids. No, another one! You stop this right now, spider. You stop this right now. I will take your silk. I will pull it from your spinnerets. That part of you, right there. The spider anus. The spanus. I will pull it out of your spanus. Okay. Since we know now that this island is infested with enormous spiders that wish me nothing but harm, I'm a little bit less enthusiastic about it. <gasps> Never mind. I love exploring. Exploring is my favorite thing in the whole world. Where is my pickaxe? Yay, it works! I'm actually pretty happy about this. Alright, so we'll craft that like into a moon rock arrow. And then we will fire it and it will be fanciful. It'll be like shing -na 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 -na, when it fires off into the distance. Probably do like some damage or something. I don't know, maybe explode them with the power of the darkness and the moon. No! Spider! Why do you guys hate me so much? Ow! You have really, really large mandibles. Like, why, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. A spider fang. I wonder if I can make poison-tipped arrows with those. That'd be pretty sweet. Let's fiddle with it for a second. Can I? Where's that spider fang at? Or is it a weapon? It's not a weapon. I think it's just like a generic item then. You can make a spider poison. So I guess that's for your weapon, maybe? Bamboo pole doesn't do anything with it. That doesn't do anything. So developers, we should make poison arrows. Poison arrows sound really, really awesome. I'd be stoked about some poison arrows. Wow, that poison is eating me alive. Maybe I should, like, cure that or something. Oh, it's already cured. Okay. I guess I'll use that band-aid that I got from a barrel floating on the ocean. I don't think that sounds very sanitary, but you know what? I'm not going to question it for right now. Just apply it. I don't know what the hell that was, but I'm running. What was that noise? Oh my god, that was horrifying. Like some kind of weird ghoul hiding out in the darkness. I don't want to play anymore. I just want to go home. Also, where's my boat? I want to go back to my big safe island that only has pirates on it. And no spiders. You have never seen me sprint like you would see me sprint if there was a giant spider. If I ever came into view line of a giant spider, I would run my ass off so fast without apologizing. Even if I was like in a group of people, I'd be like, don't trip, poof, and then just take off running. <laughs> Giant spider, no! Ugh, I don't do things with like tarantulas and stuff, nope. I had a friend that had a pet tarantula, and he'd be like, you want to hold her? And I'd be like, hell no. Not a chance in hell, absolutely not. That's not a pet, that's an animal that would willfully do me harm if it was big enough to. Nope, I don't want to hold that thing at all. I don't trust that thing's intelligence. How does it know that I'm its friend? How does it know that you're its friend? I don't trust spiders that far. There's a reason that spiders and snakes are seen as untrustworthy. That's because they bite you when you're not paying attention. And I don't pay attention a lot, which means I'm probably first up to get bitten. Alright, I broke my torch again like an idiot. What can you do? So I suppose we're just running around in the darkness now. At least the moonlight is nice. I like the fact that the moon actually throws a real amount of light in this game. That's something that's missing from a lot of games where it's like dark. But it's moonlight dark. You can still see okay because of the moon. I like that. I like that a lot. I may try to go for a campfire out here in this little fingery region of the island. I don't know. I don't feel safe right now. Spiders are there. There be spiders in them hills. And so I'd rather stay away. Let's go ahead and make a campfire. And we need that. Hey. There we go. We need that. We need that. Campfire. All right. And then now that we've got the campfire crafted, we'll put it like right 
there. And then we'll come back over here. Maybe rest for like six hours. Yay, it's morning. I'm excited about that. Let's get out of here. This is Spider Island, and I don't like spiders, so I think it's time to go. I wonder if they only come out at night, like they're nocturnal spiders. Either way, I know they're vindictive, so whether they're nocturnal or not, I know they want to eat me and kill me, so that's a thing that we can just throw into our little guidebook just in case. You think whoever wrote that guidebook with the crafting thing could have warned us about that and be like, hey, you know, I know I just taught you how to make a sailboat out of random logs that you picked up off the ground, but you may want to watch out for spiders while you're hanging out on the islands. They're all over the place, and they really, really are just not good company, so... Don't give them crumpets. Don't give them anything tasty. They tend to stay when you do that, and they get very, very violent about the fact that you have stopped feeding them. And so once you start, it's like if you give a moose a muffin, it's just an endless circle of them being grumpy about shit. Well, I think when we landed on this island, I think that one right there... Pretty sure that that one right there is the one that's on the side of the big mountain. I can't confirm it, but I've got a feeling. And so until I've got more than a feeling, I think we'll I think we'll deal with it. Hey, get pushed. I am mighty. Stop resisting me. Oh, the sail is up. We got to No, 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 no. Your boat will sail away without you, by the way. So, you know, don't push it and make it face in a direction with the sail up. It's a bad plan unless you want to lose a boat, and then it's a great plan. If you're trying to lose a plan, if you're trying to lose a boat, that is the plan for you. All right, so into the water, onto the raft. Hey, onto the raft, onto the raft. There we go. <laughs> we finally got it, and so now I'll just stick that through my body, and let's go back this way until I get my headings and my bearings again. And so once we've got my bearings, I think at that point we'll be ready to roll. You see what I did there? Oh my God, ball bearings, and then rolling humor. Rolling humor. Yep, I'm kind of lost right now, so I feel like I should probably just figure out where the hell we are. Every time I go in, um, it figures. I missed a log. You can see it right there. Every time I get, like, a further out bird's eye view. This wouldn't really be a bird's eye view. I would say that this is a whale eye view of the island. I I see things that I missed, and unfortunately, I'm not. it's too far. We can't go back. It's too far. It's too late. I like how the moon is out during the day, too, because that happens where I live. I don't know if that's, like, a global phenomenon where you can see the moon during the day, but you can always see the moon during the day where I live. It's, like, constant. It's always just, like, right there. And then once the sun goes down, it just gets kind of brighter and brighter and brighter. I don't know if it's, like, a seasonal thing, or I don't know if that's, like, a global thing. I'm not an astronomer. I mean, I... Sometimes I... I, I dabble in, like, random websites and factoids, but nope, definitely not an astronomer at the end of the day. God, I have no idea where we are. I wish that this thing could maintain, like, a straight direction, too. Okay, there we go. Stay nice and straight. Awesome. I'm going to go stand up on the front. I like going, whenever you're on something moving, I like going like this because it makes you feel like you're moving really fast. Like you walk towards the front of the boat. Like, whoa! It's like warp speed. Well... I think I may have picked the wrong island. I think this may be the wrong direction to go in, but then again, we're not really, like, latched to that island over there. There's no reason for us to stay around that big mountain, so... It doesn't hurt us that much, I guess. I, I suppose we can continue to just float around as we see fit. We definitely need a better boat, though. This thing is not going fast enough. We need some more speed. I have a need for speed, and unfortunately, I also have a greed for speed. So when you've got a need for speed and a greed for speed, I feel like you really should probably... I don't know. Come up with some kind of new mobilization method because this is taking forever. Yep, this is definitely not the island in front of the big mountain. We would see it behind it by now. They were too close for you to not be able to see it. I guess we'll check this island out. We'll see what's here. We still want to make our new boat. There's a big pirate boat around somewhere that we can fix. I saw it in my stream. There's like this giant frigate like Corvette looking boat. It's enormous. It's like huge. And it has a treasure chest in it and everything and you can repair it if you have enough materials. But you need a lot. You need like 50-something logs, you know, a bunch of hardwood, you need like a million stone. It's, it's a pretty big project. Unless that's the mountain behind it right there. I think it might be. 
Let's go out and around the side of the island right here. We're not going to go to shore just yet because I think I see the mountain on the other side. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, we're kind of heading back in the direction that we were coming from then. I mean, if we sail off in this direction, it should randomly generate some more islands for us. And I guess this cor I guess it corroborates, or I guess it's back in line with our original strategy, which was to just go around this big island right here. The game should start to chug pretty soon. And at that point, we'll have ourselves a new island to look for. I try and keep my heading like right there so that we're going along the side of the island right here. I am Hawaiian. This is what we do. This is what we do. We sail around and we use things as like reference points and do cool stuff. Although there's another. That one looks distinctively like the first island. Hmm. Hold on. Let's go investigate. Come about. Stop us, sir. Okay, so let's go invest. I'm going to investigate this island first. And we're going to see if there's anything here. If there's anything here, we'll be good to go. But both those islands look kind of similar. I said that it was sort of a really, really iconic island. And unfortunately, there's two of them right next to each other. That might work to our benefit, though. Maybe. It might work to our benefit. The other thing is if we're trying to find the big pirate ship to fix, you can see its mast from super far away. Like... You see how we can see a tree over there? You can see the mast to the really big pirate ship from really, really far away. So you should be able to track down it. I think that was the island right there because I can see the campfire kind of towards the top. It's very, very small, but I don't know. Maybe they both have a campfire near the top of the island. Either way, we're going to land here, and in the next episode, we're going to kill off a bunch of pirates, and it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So... I think that this might be a decent spot for me to break off the episode while we wait to get there. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Salt. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and I do.